is the San Siro, a mythical stadium where legends of the game wore legendary boots. Here, Ronaldo wore the first Mercurial, Slatan wore the Vapor 2s, and for the Champions League final, Cristiano Ronaldo wore the brand spanking new Superfly 5. Before that, though, The Superfly 5 will already have had a taste of the San Siro grass, as yours truly will give it a run out to see if Nike have succeeded in making the Mercurial even faster by meticulously improving every component of the boot in the same way as Formula 1 teams improve their cars. And the Superfly 5 up has seen a ton of little improvements, with the knitted speed rims being the biggest one. With that, Nike are aiming to give the Superfly 5 more structure, stability and lockdown by engineering raised knitted rips into the upper. The changes are felt immediately as the Superfly 5 has clearly eliminated some of the excess space to give you an incredibly tight and close fit all over your foot, which makes you feel like you've been placed into a personally sculpted race car seat. You can't move much around, but on the other hand, there's not really anything annoying or squeezing your foot. And I almost expected a transformer like Shh, when I stepped into it. So while it's not necessarily a pillow around your foot, it blindly follows the shape of it, which is really reassuring and quite comfortable at the same time. Adding to that, Nike have kept the dynamic fit color, which only adds to the natural sock-like fit. But thankfully, the blister machine synthetic strip has been reduced, which means pressure points are a thing of the past. Size-wise, it's pretty narrow, so if you have super wide feet, don't even bother. Otherwise, I went true to size with my usual size 40, and I couldn't be happier. I don't think many of us play on a pitch like the San Siro every day, though. So maybe we should hit a less high profile, more normal Danish pitch as well. The biggest innovation on the Superfly 5 is Nike saying Arrivederci to carbon fiber and replacing it with a single layer vacuum pressed anatomical sole plate to optimize your energy output by allowing your foot to sink into the plate. I know sole plates aren't normally what most people freak out about, but you all should about these. Because not only is putting your foot on the plate like stepping on a cloud, it actually prevents your foot from moving, which makes the Superfly 5 an insanely responsive boot with no stud pressure. And that's even without mentioning the studs, which are the most aggressive and quite frankly, the best on the market for speed. I felt like a wild animal in these, and I think R9 would have been proud. But to be honest, this normal Danish pitch is a bit boring. So let's use a bit of film magic to go back to San Siro. Then we come to the touch, which is close, precise, and very natural, both when dribbling and shooting. And with the speed ribs offering more grip on the ball than its predecessor, the Superfly 5 gave me enough confidence to try out the cheeky stuff while still being pleasantly straightforward. After San Siro, I had to sit down for a while because while the Superfly 5 as a whole completely swept me off my feet, something still bothered me. And that is the looks, which I know doesn't matter one bit. But for me, there's just too much going on. And for such a flawless speed monster as this, it should look every bit as fearsome as it feels. And it doesn't, which breaks my heart a little bit because I want my material to stand out. The result of Nike's hard work is a speed machine built for hardcore performance, with the sole plate being the real game changer. It's unlike anything I've ever tried before. And lacing up in the Superfly gave me a mental edge and made me feel fast and completely, utterly invincible. For me, there's no discussion. The Superfly 5 is the best speed boot on the market. It does everything the Superfly 4 does, but then raises the bar even further. And it's easily one of the best performing materials ever made. In the end, this is a boot I respect 
forwards engineering, but it'll still have to prove itself to really reach the heights of the legendary Mercurials. Over to you, CR7.